Yo, guys. Are we here? Am I being heard? Lagging at all? I think we're good. Alright. Sweet. Yep, no, okay. I think we're good. Alright, might chill here for a minute, I'll see if uh, there's anything I need to change. Uh, we'll turn that up. Audio. Yes, have that on. Right enough. Ugh. All right, got my cup of coffee. It's uh, what time is it? It's, it's half one in the day. Okay, so it's it's a nice chill day. I've got the day off. It's kind of bright outside. Dogs out, chilling. You know, <sighs> sunbathing in our moderate climate that could rain at any moment. So I need to keep an eye. But yeah. Uh, I've really been looking forward to doing this one on stream. I'm not sure how many people are going to catch the first episode. So I won't be streaming for too long. Maybe an hour uh, at most. But I do have other things to do today. And I don't... If anybody wants to catch up, I don't want them to have to, like, look at a three-hour VOD, you know, just to catch up on what's happening or to, to try and start the journey as well for the next stream. So, uh, I don't want to say too much about this, but... I have very high praise for this game. I'm really looking forward to going into it for the second time. I have played it before. Uh, I played it, I think it was a year and a half ago, or maybe two years ago at this rate. Uh, I started it near the start of the pandemic, so. But, yeah, no, I, I can't sing the praises high enough for this game. I just really, really enjoy it. I know that there's a sequel coming out soon, or at least in the near future, so I'm really looking forward to playing that, and I was hoping to do this before there was any kind of news on that. Uh, and just speaking to the community, it seems as though not a lot of people have actually played or heard of this, so that might be a new experience for you guys. So if you don't know, this game is going to use binaural audio, okay? Uh, I'm not going to explain why, you'll understand why very, very soon into the game, but basically, if you're watching this, I would highly advise you grab a headset or uh, some earphones or something and throw them on, throw them in. Get, grab your AirPods, you know, because uh, it, it, it'll be freaky. It'll be freaky, and it's it's. I know it's gonna get me as well, again, for the first time. Because like, well, like for the first time it happened, it uh, it sent chills up my neck. <laughs> it took me a while to get used to it. So I'm I'm betting that that's gonna happen again for me, and perhaps for you. You've no idea what I'm talking about, but you will understand soon. <sighs> okay. I think we're good to start. As long as we're not lagging. Just wanna 100% make sure that there is not any lag. Don't, we don't like lag. Don't like it at all. No, okay, it seems to be fine. I am speaking a bit low, but maybe if I just uh, speak a little bit louder, it'll be fine. <laughs> Anytime I go to check uh, the stream to see if it's actually like lagging or anything, it, it just comes up that there's one viewer, and it's like, yeah, yeah, don't lie to me, bro. I know exactly who that is. <laughs> who are you? Doesn't matter. ASMR the game. I hate it, bro. I hate it. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? 
don't know how clearly it's gonna come through for you guys, but uh, I'm pretty sure it should. I'm whispering in my ear, man. Back up. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. Yeah, see, this mental health advisor, they really had a lot of input on this. They wanted to get it, like... They wanted to get it right. Schizophrenia. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Can you see them? Over there. Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? It's an ally. Look, up ahead. An ally. Do you see it too? It is real after all. Oh, I can feel it like right up my spine, man. I hate it. <laughs> the land of mist and fog. The place the northmen call hell. Performance seems to be a little worse than I remember, though. I don't want to deal with that. Is flashing. I remember playing a lot better than when I originally played it. But it shouldn't be too big of an issue. I'm sure if the game is loud enough for you guys, let me know if it is. This is not a place of rest. I can't do this. Go back, go back. They're going to do that to you. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. Oh, it's such a disturbing game. It's not horror. Don't worry. Stop. Can you feel them watching? She's got eerie vibes, that's all. I gotta say, I was an absolute god at the combat in this game. I, I don't need to brag, but I felt like I, I got the handle on it pretty well by the end. But uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to readjust to the controls again. Music, David Garcia. You might try and ignore it. Turn away. It's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. The dialogue in this game is really good as well, or more so the narration. A lot of good lines in it. Really, really like the writing. Melina Jurgens? I hope I pronounced that right, but yeah. Phenomenal job. She's brave they did a really good job. On her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear. Runs far. She's afraid of 25 FPS, man. It's terrifying. Modern day and age. <laughs> Anything below 30 is a hate crime. <laughs> Usually, myself, I 
generally go straight through with the story. I don't really delve into like side stories or anything like that until the end of the game. I don't know why, it just it kind of feels like, you know, most stories have a sense of urgency. So when you go and do side stories, it just kind of feels like, you know, oh yeah, yeah, no, the entire planet's going to be destroyed in an hour, except I have uh, 148 sub stories to do. So I'll be uh, I'll be back in a few days, <laughs> you know. I just don't like that. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. What a boss. This is how you do a fucking strong female character, alright? There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? And this character needs a lot more, uh... Development sounds as though that she doesn't have development, but it's the only word I can think of, but I, I mean that in a good way. She needs a lot more development, as in they need to bring out more games with this character and this story, because they just did such a phenomenal job. Like, this is how you make a character who is not a victim. Like, this is a proper, strong-willed character. Um... Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, so... Uh... Yeah, so I usually don't delve into sub stories until the end. I don't really go looking for information and stuff unless the game really, really interests me. And this is one of the only games where uh, I came up to these kind of stones and I wanted to know the stories and I wanted to hear what it had to say. She needs to look closer. Do not forget my stories, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate, but gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the eyes. Do another quick check and make sure stream is okay. It's the last time. I just I do not want to look back on this and see that it all lagged. Valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered. Yeah, no, okay, I didn't. We're good. But I do think I need to turn it up a little bit. From there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Yeah. Uh, so we'll just turn up the audio real quick and just turn that back up to a hundred. Might not make much much of a difference, seeing as though uh, I have the audio down for the game in the stream manager, but uh. If it is a little bit low when I look back on it, I will up the audio for next stream. But this already sounds uh, a lot louder for me, so hopefully it's decent for you guys. They really nailed the essence of paranoia in this game too. Someone who deals with paranoid thoughts, like this is exactly the kind of pressure and tension that I would like try and put into something that is trying to mimic paranoia. Or anxiety in effect. Like there's so many mental health conditions that this game addresses. Hey Panda, how you doing? Long time no see. How's the DVD going? I'm getting a little bit optimistic. I've been playing story games on stream because my internet is like far too bad to attempt playing like Dead by Daylight on stream instead with multiplayer. But uh, hopefully I get to that stage eventually.
is no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. You ever seen anything about this game, Panda? EBD's going alright, looking for other things to play at the moment. This looks like an amazing game so far. Yeah, this is a really, really cool game. Are you playing it with, um... Or, not playing, sorry. Are you watching with headphones? Because, uh... I'd highly advise you do. Uh, for however long you're staying. Because if you put on earphones, you'll, uh... You'll notice the binaural audio in this game. It's, it's so creepy. Bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. Also, apologies if I uh, take a little bit of time reading chat because uh, I've, I've got to look at my phone to actually read it, seeing as though I don't have PC, so no dual monitors. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Even the detail there of like the sidestepping. Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. Can't remember whether this came out around the same time as the latest God of War game or not, but uh, there's definitely like very similar themes due to the mythology. Uh, it's quite interesting if you can get like audio from both the games, you can really learn a lot about the Norse mythology. Uh, just watch bits of the game. <laughs> yes, I got headphones in. I'm gonna stick around for a while. And no worries, it's fine. I'll just sit back, listen, and watch. Exactly, exactly. We're just here to vibe, honestly. My coffee is already gone, though. I'm, I'm only here 18 minutes, and it's already gone. It's, that's got me a little bit sad, to be honest. Uh, tea lasts longer for me. I don't know why. Coffee always goes cold, like, really quickly for me. Like, it, like, super milky. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, like, barely any hot water in it. There we go. The main voice, Senua. Badass bitch. Let's go. Oh no, coffee's great. I have my coffee milky too. Having one now. Epic. Epic. Yeah, no, coffee's definitely great. I only started drinking it during the pandemic to keep me awake during uh, online lessons at school. Which didn't work. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. <laughs> Don't listen. Never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? I thought it was Billy Connolly doing that voice, but apparently it isn't. <laughs> apparently not all Scottish voices are the exact same person. Who knew? They call me Drift. Liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> truth is my truth. Huh? It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. To guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk with you. What if I don't want to know? Not much of a deal then, is it, bitch? I'm listening. Or we can go for it. That works too. Against the hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Look 
really? Clearly. I can Focus. see one. Focus. Hold it in Focus your mind's eye. Happens? Find one like Focus. it to open the gate. He's not really. It's near. All right. Focus. You will there it is. Look towards the gate. <laughs> You'll never find it. Finds it within like two seconds. <laughs> Is it okay if I share your stream out? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I'm. I must warn you though. I'm not. Uh, I'm not the best host so far. I've only done like four streams, so I'm more used to uh, videos where I can <laughs> edit out every stupid thing I say. Damn, she's got some muscles. Hell yeah. I spent six years enslaved in hell. I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. I can deal with fighting, but getting wet, man, come on, this is just an inconvenience. Don't worry about it, got to start somewhere, right? And you're doing great. Another Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. How long have you been doing it? She once tried to make them It's all away. that, like, I think you started during the pandemic as well, right? Or am I wrong? But what good is that? When we are always here. I guess it's about it's balancing between, like, interrupting the game, which I'm doing right now, it's and, uh, speaking in silent Tend moments. It's going to be okay. But you know that death is near. Waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. I love the writing in this game. Yes, more stories. Let's go. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the Nine Worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Damn. I gotta get my boy toy back. Come on, we're gonna pull a Doctor Strange on this. We're not going anywhere until we get him back. Uh, I started last year around June. I got to affiliate around Christmas. Yeah, I. That, first of all, well done. Second of all, I didn't realize like, not that it's not an achievement, but I didn't realize how like, I don't know, like ac accessible getting to affiliate is. Like I thought it'd be like a much higher threshold. Uh, I'm sure like. Uh, Twitch partner is definitely like a lot more than uh, ooh, nice bridge. I'm sure Twitch partner is a lot more to get to than uh, affiliate. But yeah, no, I just I didn't uh, I didn't think it'd only be 50 followers. Only as he sits with 14. I definitely think Twitch gives a lot more emphasis though on helping people grow their communities. YouTube just doesn't care. If you're a small channel on YouTube, there's very little chance of you actually growing in this day and age. Damn, got a bit of a lost vibe going on here. of Hela herself, the half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Shh. Someone's here.
Uh, Twitch partner is very hard to get. That's definitely a challenge. It's 50 followers, and you have to do all the little things on the achievements to for affiliate. I didn't think I would get to affiliate, but I did. You get there. Uh, sorry, too much typing. I know. No, no, don't worry about it. You're fine. Honestly, it's it's great to be chatting. Um, that's again, that's another bonus for Twitch. The fact that you can actually interact with the community. Okay, give me your jacket. Pretty sick, honestly. It's just a jacket. Go! Uh, okay, let me see if I can actually pronounce this. Uh, Senua, can you hush down for a second? Alright, thanks. Uh, Papa Smurfin. Papa, S <laughs> Papa Smurfin XCI. I'm just gonna call you Papa. Alright. That's okay. It's oh, shit! Hey! Yo, bitch! I'm reading! Okay, you definitely hit me that time. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, come on. I've been playing Yakuza, bitch. Come get me. Suck it, bitch. Oh, 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 really? Oh, you, you want to shake up? All right, let's go. Yeah, two slick foot. They did tell me the controls, I'm just kind of remembering them slowly, but I don't think, I don't remember giving me a pop-up. Animation is so good! Keep blocking, but- oh shit, no, you're one of those. No, 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 no. Shit. Give me some room to move, bro. Come on. Fuck. I pressed. I boy. There we go. I thought I had to do a perfect parry, and that was enough. Or just die that. Oh wait, no wait. Are you supposed to die the first time? Yeah, okay, I think you're supposed to first. Either that or this is a really, like, drawn out death scene. <laughs> yeah, no, I was meant to die. See, I am, I am a god at this game. But not when I'm supposed to die. See, there's a difference. Well, shit, that's a little depressing. Come on, blink. A vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head. The seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. Yeah, itching does not seem to be helping. You, you need to stop. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. A little counterproductive, but that's fine, Senua. Let, let it out. The dark rot will grow each time you fail. If the rot reaches Senua's head, her quest is over. And all progress will be lost. Yes. Understood.
I've wanted to play this for over a year and still never got around to it. It is a really good game. I played it once uh, at the start of the pandemic, so like two years back. The hardest um, battles are fought in the mind. But uh, I've been wanting to replay it, important. and I figured now was a good time with the new game coming out. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow, and soon it will take her soul. For now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. <laughs> I, I never even noticed, even, like, the similarities between this and God of War are a bit, like, weird, too. Like, I understand, like, if you're dealing with Norse mythology, there's going to be some uh, similarities, but like, even she has a head <laughs> on her side, you know? Lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. Okay, I think we have a bit of a quiet moment here, uh, so we can sit for a second, take a little bit of a break. Um, yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed the game the first time I played it. I remember the fire one, you kind of have like a boss fight at the end of both of these. I remember the fire one being a bitch to fucking deal with. Um, I might go for the illusion one first this time, because I went for the fire one first last time. Or I could leave it up to you guys. <laughs> can I put, can I put a poll in for two people and <laughs> just get a 50-50 result? Saw a video from the dev team about how detailed these games are to the point they took 4K uh, pictures of people's eyes to get the color right in the movement. Yeah, no, the detail that went into this game is insane. I really appreciate the research too. There's like there's a feature that they have on this in the main uh, the main menu to see like it's it's like a little mini documentary of how they advised with mental health consultants and people who suffer from schizophrenia to like really nail the mental health side of the game but even yeah no just down to game design itself like the game is gorgeous for like this isn't even like uh, a next gen version of the game like I still think it looks really good uh, despite the slight little hiccups it had at the very beginning but I, I don't know that could just be down to the Xbox One's performance to be fair um but yeah, no, you're right. The detail in this game is insane. Okay, I think we're going to go for this one. Oh yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. I died like five times in my first playthrough. Sort. And like... Fire giant has answered. Wait, what? He comes from a land older than mankind. No, what do you mean, fire? Bitch, that was a yellow door. I thought the red one would be for fire. No, nah, I'm gonna be a bitch. I'm going this way. No, rather not. Nope, not happening. There we go. Sister of the Seers and Master of Ravens. She found the red one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I fucked it up a little bit. She took pity on him, for he was not one of this world. To Valraven and to like her. Okay, can to one of you wait for the other one to finish, please? I'd appreciate that. Cannot be opened without it. Sweet. So I got about 20% of all that. Um, I'm still going this way. <laughs> yeah, so what I was saying was, I died like five times on my first playthrough. And I really like the idea of the rot. I feel like it's a really cool... Uh, system to put into it and it probably does change depending on how hard your difficulty is set but it seemed to like barely go up my arm from the five times I died so I'm on a harder difficulty now so maybe it'll go uh, a little faster maybe it will have more of an impact but I mean hopefully it doesn't honestly I don't want to die and restart on stream <laughs> but <laughs> I 
I think some of the sections that they had in this game are pretty unique as well. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks it bad? I thought that's like cloud. and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Yeah. Uh, I said at the start of the stream, I'm not sure how long I can stream today because I have to be somewhere, but I did want to start this game uh, and give it a bit of a bit of a look. Uh, I know there's a lot more people who were interested in seeing this video, and if they have to catch up on the stream to, like, know what's happening for the next stream, I don't want them to, like, look on the channel and see, like, a three-hour VOD <laughs> for them to have to catch up on. So the first episode, I'm not going to have too long, but uh, the second episode will make a lot more progress then, I think. Go through here first? No. Dead end. Okay. Illusion hides the path to Balravn. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Space over there, don't we? Once we do, wait, what? No, oh, okay, <laughs> maybe not. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit stu- Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a lot stupid. I'm, I'm pretty stupid. All right, my defense, I give you fair warning beforehand, so. Uh, if you guys want to join the Discord, I haven't, uh, I don't think I have the link set up, but I can, I can have it set up for the next, uh, stream, or I can do it later. But, uh, yeah, no, there is a Discord server there if you want to get notifications for next stream. Or you can just turn on notifications, I think you can do it on Twitch. Not sure. Don't quote me on that. Not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there's notifications on Twitch. Design for Helheim is really, really cool in this game. I can't wait to get to that section. I knew you wouldn't have this big wide area for nothing. Yeah, alright, come on. Pyramid Head did it way better than you. You bit. Right. 
<laughs> you ever do that to someone in Mortal Kombat? Just keep them in the corner. <laughs> Come on, I'm waiting. Danny seems to be quite forgiving at the moment. Pretty sure that will get harder later. Oi! Cheating! Don't do that. There we go. Boom. Goddamn genius. Yeah, no, Panda, if you ever feel like playing uh, DVD at any time, I've been trying to play it a lot more since the new season started, uh, but still trying to find time, because I work pretty early in the morning. I'm usually in at like 3 a.m. or 5 a.m. or 6 a.m., so lately I can't stay up that late, but... Okay, that'll be a problem. Uh... I know we're not in a major rush, Senua, but you could give it a little bit more gas, you know? Like, just hit the accelerator a tiny bit more, you know? Instead of this little jogging at a moderate pace. Oh. Wait. Yes? No? Maybe. Yes. I think so. Maybe not. Okay. No, I'm just stupid. All right. Y'all chip off that side? That is the gate, isn't it? I hate doing puzzles on stream. I can cut out all this on a video. <laughs> Just exploring a little bit. That's my excuse. Exploration. Definitely not lost. The fact I've played this before as well just kills me. All for fuck. Oh, I never checked for the ruin, did I? Is that the problem? Yeah, okay. 
Might be my bad. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Mm-hmm. Now you're activated, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Bitch. Okay, now you're pissing me off. If you hear the song of Van Raven, follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't always trust your eyes. I don't have to get up there. But... Oh, wait. Ah, I see. More to this than meets the eye. Got it. Challenge me. Come on, fight me, bird box. Let's go. Those fucking feathers right off your back, bitch. Fight. Come here. Is she lost? I've, I've made no progress for like a solid two nanoseconds, and you're asking me if I'm lost. Relax, voices. There we go. All right, sweet. We did it. Let's go. Talk a minute, but we're all right. Can I jump off? Okay, that's fine. I'll take the stairs like a normal boring person. That's that's completely fine. Whatever. Whispering like right up to your ear gets me every time, bro. I, those of you who like listen to ASMR for the fun of it, I do not understand you. It just sends chills up my spine every time something gets that close. Not expecting it. That's just me. There we go. 
combat in this game can be so satisfying when you get it right. Fuck! Unlike that. There's one behind you! Cannot see shit. <laughs> okay, jump, 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 jump. Okay, relax. Definitely gonna take a bit of time to get right back used to that. That's fine. It's nearly over. Finish it. Emir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters. Some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. And the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The Old Father. I like the way they did these stories as well, how like they broke each one up a little bit, so like it kind of incentivizes you to go and like search for the remainder of like the little tale that he's telling. Like usually a lot of those like optional dialogue things, like especially like in Fallout and stuff, they just don't interest me. Just personally. But uh this game had me searching for them, so Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones? To head deep into the wilds? Perhaps never to return? Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. It's a cool line. I like that. Burning is a bit slow on the camera. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or whether I can turn that up. Okay. Over to the left. I'm gonna go to the left instead. This reminds the forest. Side is the entrance for this. She went to the wilds a long time. Nope. Okay. She wanted to fight her own darkness. She thought she could beat her own. Did she break the dark? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Okay, come up there? Nope. Okay. She's dead. 
She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. What are you guys planning today? Any games off the top of your heads? Anything uh, exciting for you guys? She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She nearly died. She thought the curse may be tainted. Truth helped her. Hey Panda, are those, are those your emotes? I go through? I don't know why I thought I could go through there. <laughs> Never mind. This one change. That one? Yeah. Okay. Open it. <laughs> ah, fuck. Shut up, stupid voices. so annoying to live with. I get it's like exaggerated a slight bit for the game, but... I mean, that's annoying just like playing a game. Can you imagine if you were like emotionally upset and you had that in your head as well? this it's through here oh story yes nice the northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive they tell how the runes were revealed to Odin, only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry, and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. Uh, that's unfortunate. Is the stream still working for you guys, or is there any lag? Let me know if there is, just in case, because sometimes my internet can be a bit uh, unreliable. But I think we're good.
Let's go. We got this. All right. Left. Where are they? Over there. Okay. So. The smallest hints of shape, sound, or thought grow in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claws. Where you got that from? Over there. There we go. Nope. Not quite. There we go. Got it. The gate is open. Open. That's locked. Gotta go that way. Okay. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill me. Yet. Oh no, at her. Biding its time. I think the majority of my deaths were actually during the fire sequence. Search her. Search. Whatever. However it's pronounced. They pronounce it as like Surter in the Marvel movies, isn't it? If that's leading into the boss fight, then I'm going to leave this one here, I think. Uh, I have to go do stuff anyway, as I said. But hopefully, uh, if you want to check out the VOD afterwards, it's not too long. It's only an hour. So if they want to catch up for the next episode, they can. I just didn't want to leave it too long in case they had to, you know, go back to like a three-hour VOD. And then they wouldn't be bothered to, you know, try and catch up for the next stream. So uh, I wouldn't want people to kind of jump into the second one without knowing anything about the first bit. And, you know, be taken aback from it. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you for stopping by. If you're new, I'm pretty sure like both of you are. Or three. I saw three a little while ago, but I don't think they're here anymore. So yeah. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, had fun playing, and I'll catch you again.